Ladies and gentlemen, in this all brand new series, we shall be reading a book. A book like no none other. A book by Dr. Disrespect. Violence, speed, momentum. Well, let's get to it. We begin at the dedication. I dedicate this book to you, my dear readers. Ha 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 ha. Totally kidding. I dedicate this book to my mustache slick daddy who's silky and masculine, and better looking than all of you put together. Some bold words right there. It's a good way to get started. Author's note. I'll never write this book. Millions of people tell me every day I should write a book about me. Help us, Dr. Disrespect, they beg. You're the only one we care about in the universe. We won't read another word about anything until you write something about yourself. Please, Please, please tell us the secret of your lore. All I want is to be truly understand you. I smile. I'm a six foot eight freak of nature with a 37 inch vertical leap, the two time back to back 1993 94 blockbuster video game champion, and the most dominant international gaming superstar in the history of the world. I say, truly understanding me is impossible. Now leave before I smack you in the mouth with my flip phone. They say, are you being serious right now? I say, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe I don't even know. Either way, I'm not telling you, you punk skinny kid. At that point, the millions of people run for their lives. But the joke's on them. The two time would never, ever do anything to hurt his flip phone. And the truth is, I already have dozens of books under my belt, including volumes one, three, four, and seven of the Knight Rider paperback series, which I wrote in my spare time under the nom, nom de plume Paul G. Fitzgerald. All New York Times bestsellers. Of course, none of those books is strictly autobiographical. Though the character of Michael Knight and Jean-Claude Van Damme's actual personality were both loosely based on myself. Lawsuits pending. And obviously... The ravenous public is still desperate to know more about me. So I wasn't surprised when some guy named Nigel called me up from Simon and Sh Schuster wanting to meet about publishing an exclusive tell-all memoir. I even told him I'll take the meeting, not because I gave a crap about what he had to say, but because it was a lunch meeting I thought it'd be funny to order an expensive shit on his tab. I landed my jet back come off KA-27 attack chop on the roof of the restaurant. This posh, exclusive club in Midtown Manhattan, Nigel recommended called Ab Lebes, which I think is French or Swahili or something. Well, Nigel, I said, to either rush on strumptious neon lighting and inhale the aroma of rich fried onions and meat. If you're aiming to impress, you made a good start. He stood. He was skinny. He was pasty. He was wearing tweed. I'll be honest. I felt a little on the nose for someone in the book biz to be wearing tweed. It's like, why not toss on a monocle and bow tie really at it, you know? But whatever. So I started to give him one of my firm handshakes, but he and his fingers were so delicate and intellectual, I was afraid I might crush them and miss out on my free lunch. Indeed, Nigel said nervously. Uh, sorry about that. We had to cut back on our expenses. Mm. Why are you wearing sunglasses inside? I snorted in contempt. My sunglasses were Google prototype scopes with built-in Sony 3D LCD technology and night vision, allowing me to scan even the darkness, darkest recesses of this dark, fancy restaurant for a potential ambush by my thousands of enemies. I didn't want to embarrass the dude, so as I said, just said, I don't know, why aren't you doing squats every day? What he said? I laughed and ordered the boneless chicken wings, chicken wonton tacos. Brew pub pretzel with beer cheese dip and a double helping of neighborhood beef nachos. You, uh, must be hungry, he said. Nope, I answered. Doc, he started and paused. Hey, what are you a doctor of, exactly? I've always wanted to know. Right, I said. You and everyone else on the planet. Now, what up? My chopper's waiting. Doc, I'm going to level with you. We're in trouble. People just aren't reading anymore. Shakespeare, the Bible, the Knight Rider paperback series... We're publishing all the great classics, but no one cares. We need something fresh, something new, something electric to save literature. We need you, Doc. 
I think he said something like that, but I don't know. I was too busy ordering the loaded chicken fajita plate with extra lime wedges, a full rack of double glazed baby back ribs, and the double crunch shrimp. Um, are you going to eat all that, Nigel said? Look, man, I said. I've heard all before. Blah, blah, blah. Western civilization is nothing real about you, Doc. Blah, 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 blah. You're the Chaucer, the James Patterson, the Dolph Lundgren. The game rolled into one. I didn't have time to save your pathetic humanities, okay? I'm too busy soaring with the eagles. I'm too busy climbing the mountain of success to the tippy top. I'm too busy... I paused briefly to order the, the rib palate. The eight ounce top sir, sirloin. Extra bloody. Because I know it will gross up Nigel. The balsamic chicken apple salad. Because I'm a beast, but not a effing monster. The triple chocolate mountain for dessert. Wait, where was I? Oh, right. I was too busy plunging down the water side of s victory, all six foot eight inches of me Vaseline from head to tippy toe, and my bulletproof mullet dripping like black steer down my, my back, my powerful mustache, aka Slick Daddy, aka the Ethiopian poisonous caterpillar, aka. <gasps> we'll give you a Lamborghini, Nigel said. I casually took a bite of brisket quesadilla, which I didn't remember ordering, which I may have been actually Nigel's. It was delicious. First off, Nigel. I don't like being interrupted. Second, I obviously already own a 1990 Lamborghini Diablo, so I'm talking a 2021 Lamborghini Affordera SVJ. I stopped chewing. Fine, I said I'm listening. What color? Red. I jumped up, sending chicken tenders and bourbon street shrimp wontons flying everywhere. Red? 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 The two time drives black and black only. But, uh, we only bought the car. I barely even have the money to cover this lunch. I don't care, I growled. Take it back, take it back, I won't save literature. F fine, he sighed. And, I want a 38 offshore racing boat. And, matching trailer. And, I want that connected to a 2021 Lamborghini Urus. All blacked out. And, with an official Dr. Disrespect logo decal on the side. Because it's cool. I'll have my guy handle the, the, the last part. You can reimburse me. Okay, I'll write this book. Introduction. So here I am, one day later, sitting in my multi-million dollar state-of-the-art top secret complex surrounded by 20 doggy bags of leftover riblets and nachos while writing this book. Nigel, who I guess is my editor, something. Wait, are they allowed to change these solid gold words? Is that even legal? Said something about finally sharing with the world the do doc's deepest, most intimate secrets. The untold history of my mysterious, legendary origins, and my rise to unparalleled dom dominance. My treasured philosophies of life, victory, and wiping your, your ass while you're still sitting down. Grooming tips for how you two can achieve the perfect mullet-mustache combo. Can't you can't. And he really wants to know what exactly I'm a doctor of? Well, let's be weird here. I'm going to write whatever I want, and you... And Nigel, the Champions Club, and pretty much the whole world are going to love it. You think I need his Lambos? I already own a warehouse full of them. You think I care about his racing boat? I have an entire fleet. You think I need that free lunch from Apple, uh, uh, Apple Libby's? I made a call on my flippy phone 20 minutes ago and I now own the whole chain. Turns out it's not French or very fancy. But I'm making them an accent over the E just for the hell of it. I don't care what this contract says, this is my book. It'll have the rhythm of a sleazy 70s muscle man to the ruthlessness of a 90s serial killer. It'll fly with the falcons to a whole new galaxy of awesomeness. It'll still down the long, dark alley of your fears and never look back. So prepare yourself for a level of verbal dominance never before experienced by man, woman, or child in the history of the written word. Then again, no. There was no way to prepare. None at all. Preface. Yeah, 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 yeah